In this video, we will learn how to create HTTP patch API to partially update the record in the database. In our previous video, we have implemented HTTP put API to update the record. The difference between the HTTP put and HTTP patch is HTTP put API is used to update all the properties of a single record. HTTP patch API is used to update any specific properties of a single record. For example, uh, we have books table in our database. Let's say I want to update one single record of the table. Inside that record, I want to update one single property. In this scenario, if you are using HTTP put API, um, all the properties that we are not passing from client, those will be removed from the database. If you are using HTTP patch API, then we can update only one property or multiple property or all, all the properties. Let's see how to work with um, this HTTP patch API. To use HTTP patch, we need to install two packages. So right click on project, then choose manage NuGet packages. Here, search for JSON patch. Here, click this microsoft.asp.netcore.json patch. Here, select the version 5 because we are using .NET Core version 5. Then click the install button here. Click OK button, then I accept. This package is installed successfully. Now the second pa package, Newton Soft JSON. Sorry, JSON. Click this one Microsoft ASP netcore dot MVC dot Newton soft JSON. Change the version. Then click install button. Click OK. Then click I accept. This package also installed successfully. Once we install these two packages, we need to add it in startup class. Now Let's open the startup class. Inside this class, inside this configure services method, after this add controllers, um, let's add add Newton soft JSON. That's it. Now um, let's start with book repository. So in this um, here, let's create one method. So copy this method and paste it below that. Here change the method name, update book patch async and remove these codes from here. Here instead of this book model, now we have to use JSON patch document. Add the namespace. This JSON patch document is belongs to microsoft.aspnetcore.json patch. Okay, inside this, remove these codes also. First, we will get the book details uh, by using this book ID where book equal here use a white keyword. Then we will use contacts dot books find a sync here we will pass the book id if the data exists in the database book 
not equal null. We have to use this uh, object here. Let's say book model dot apply to book. Now we have to save all the changes. All right, contacts dot save changes async method. That's it. Uh, let's add this method in iBook repository. So copy this and open interface. Paste it here. Put a semicolon. Add the namespace. Now in books controller. Copy this put method and paste it below that. Here replace this HTTP put with HTTP patch. Here modify the method name update book patch. Here instead of this book model, we have to use JSON patch document. So copy this and paste it here. Add the namespace. Here change the repository method name update uh, book patch async. Save and run this application. Now see here we have five records in the books table. So I want to update fourth record. Uh, go to postman. You are change the method patch. So here in the route we have to pass ID. So pass ID. So remove these codes from the body. So now we are using HTTP patch request. So we need to send data in other format. First, we have to start with square bracket. Uh, in this is a list. Here we have to create new object. So here we have to pass op. Op means operations. Which type of operation you want to perform that you have to mention. So replace. Then we need to pass path. Here path means a name of the property. So let's say title. Then we have to pass value. Let's say see here. We have the value title value testing. Now I want to add update text along with this testing. So testing update. Okay, that's it. Path and value. Now click the send button here. See here, we got 200 OK status code. Execute this select query. See the fourth record. The title text is updated. OK, now I want to update one more column. So go to postman here. So copy this. Put a comma and paste it. Now change the path. Now we want to update author column. Let's say author update. Then update the title also. Testing update patch. So here we are going to update title and author column. We are going to update two columns. So click the send button here. See here we got 200. Okay, go to SQL Server. Execute this query. See the fourth record. 
title and author text as updated. Okay, now I want to remove one column value from this record. Okay, go to Postman. Using this HTTP patch, we can perform multiple operations. So instead of this replace, I want to remove one particular column. Let's say I want to remove this title column from the uh, table, sorry, from the fourth record. Here, no need to pass the value. Remove this author column also. So I want to remove the value of title column from the record. Okay, click the send button here. We got 200 OK status code. Execute this query. See here, uh, we have uh, null value in the title column. This is how we can implement HTTP patch API in ASP.NET Core Web API application. Thanks for watching this video.